If I were to die today, my message to you would be, do what's true to you, follow what lights you up the most, what excites you, and let go of where it's going. I have visions of being a rapper, an actor, and all these different things, and I just feel the excitement from that and move towards it. So if an opportunity makes me feel the same, take steps towards it, and that's how I see the universe, and that's how I operate. Being that energy, trusting in that unknown, not trying to find the exact path by my mind. Dancing in this unknown of taking taking steps that feel right and also open to the infinite possibilities that can happen in every moment. Hi, my name is Steven Selly. I'm 30 years old and I'm here to enjoy. I love life and I want to share it with you. When I was 18, I thought to myself, what if I can dunk? And I thought that my whole life as a child, and for some reason I said, I'm going to go for it. Life changing decision. I got my first dunk in about a year. You could watch all those videos on my YouTube channel and it sent me on a journey of transformation. Through that journey, it taught me what limiting beliefs are and it completely changed my perspective of what's possible in this reality. I achieved something that was just a dream. It wasn't 1% possible, it was zero. And the spark of that journey was just for the fun of it, just for that possibility of that what if feeling. So that one step turned into a mountain that I never even saw coming. I was the shortest out of all my friends, so jumping was my way of overcoming this way I felt inferior and expressing who I was. My college degree was in information technology, I got a corporate job, and the mindset I developed and the person I became through the dunk journey allowed me to see that I was holding myself back in that job as well. So the second I secured that job, I was safe and I thought to myself, okay, this is definitely not the job I want, but it allowed me the safety to say, what do I want? And I thought to myself, well, I'm already making videos. I like doing that. I see vloggers blowing up, heavily inspired by Casey Neistat. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna turn the camera on me. I love talking, I love sharing, I'm already doing it. Maybe I'll blow up on YouTube as a vlogger and live my dream. So I did grow my channels, but it didn't pan out because I wasn't that great at monetizing that channel. But I learned how much I love expressing myself on the camera, sharing my story and connecting with others. Three years of doing that, I honed my skills, freelancing photo, video, editing, podcast, and realized others may need this skill and this courageous leap came for me to do it full time and I quit my corporate job. I never looked back. Life has been a roller coaster since then. I had no entrepreneurial experience back then. I didn't have any background in learning photo video professionally. Everything I've ever done is self-taught. I'm very proud of that, but in the past, it was feeding into my imposter syndrome of who am I to charge this much as a photographer, Everyone else is better than me. And now after working through that, I realize I can be proud of that. And I want to inspire other creatives who don't see themselves as, as artists to say, you know what, what I love to do is my art. I don't have to do it this way. I can do it my way. And as long as I'm doing it out of the love, out of the passion, it's going to make it the most valuable it can be. So three to four years of doing it myself is when I met some business that I started collaborating with in business. Now I see entrepreneurship as a spiritual awakening. It's a way for me to become a leader, to step into a role that is about something bigger than me. So it's not just creating content all about me or for myself, it's about creating content that helps others and helping others create content. And together, our business our organization and collaborating with other clients, we have a collective energy that's bigger than just one of us. The whole is greater than the sum of just its parts. So now the things I know for sure right now is following the excitement. I moved to California in 2022, originally from Florida, grew up in Florida, born and raised in Boca Raton. Now living in California, I found my community. It was another leap of following that fun and my life's been expanding ever since. I'm the founder of a creative agency called Courageous Growth. I do all the creative content. We help brands grow. We focus on people that we align with that are taking courageous steps in this world to build a product, to build a brand that's changing the way we do things in the healthiest, most aligned, that's great for the people that consume it and great for the planet. So why do I love sharing? I feel so excited by life that I want to share it. I like to equate it to a good food. You taste something, you're like, ooh, you have to try this. You want someone to share it. And that's why I make art because I have these feelings and art to me is about trying to express something about how you feel so others can feel it too. So the ways I do that right now is photography, videography, music and rapping. I love dancing. I love physically moving my body. 
and I love helping others do the same. So I love helping people tap into what's unique to them, their unique energy, because to me, finding that flow within of when I feel like I'm completely pulled by a force greater than myself and I'm in this flow and this magic unfolds and these experiences that just blow my mind, I want others to experience that as well. So if you're new here, welcome. I love sharing my journey as I go through it and I love creating art. So I hope you laugh, I hope you feel something, I hope you feel inspired to find your own energy and express it. Thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, thank you for being you. The best thing we can do, the best way we can express is being the most authentic to ourselves. We have this unique life and if we can tap into everything that's blocking our unique light, we can be the best vibration. We can tap into that highest vibration, and just have the most fun, be ourselves and feel that freedom of expression.